I just got my rear diff built up and shimmed. Uh, I didn't really film it because uh, I was having a little bit of of uh, trouble shimming this. Because um, the manual I followed was slightly off. I had to add more shims. But I got it nice and shimmed. I'll show you what I had it like before according to the manual. but it's nice and silky smooth and buttery now. And while I was doing that, I got a uh, package that came in. So uh, we'll see this at a later date. Some of you guys already know what this is, but uh, pretty excited. Next thing I think I want to install is my Lunsford titanium shock mounts. But first, I want to weigh them. I want to see how much lighter these things are. Alright, here's the stock mount. We got 4 grams. Now here's the titanium ones. 1 gram. Oh, 2. Half the weight. This is about as much as we can do this video. We uh, started on a rear end. We got the uh, new diff in, shimmed, new outdrive. We put the arms on, new bearings and the hubs, uh, titanium shock standoffs, and we built an entirely new steering rack setup with new uh, new turnbuckles. Here's a little sampling of how light these things are. I'll show you how light these are. So here is the old turnbuckle for the throttle linkage. Benches, still a mess. Okay, so just the rod, the original rod itself, six grams. Let me show you how light this new one is. So we got the new rod, ball cups, and servo horn. This whole setup, seven grams, six grams, the same weight with all the extras on it. So that was just to show you guys. And this project's gonna be on a temporary delay because I'm missing a lot of parts. They're on back order. My hobby store is ordering them for me. Luckily, I'm only missing two parts now. So, we're going to get those in lickety split and we'll get back on this. But until then, I think we need to start the Savage build. <laughs> 